you go. You good? How's things? Good. Good. Nice. Bring your weight there. Meat in oh, there. Looks good, eh? Couple of treats for you and Tony. Oh, thanks. <laughs> good morning to you. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I think that's real good, by the way. And we'll get Tony to take the bones out for us, bone out the hind quarters and the fore quarters, and then we'll weigh up the meat, see how much we've got there, and then divide it up between what Shay wants, the salami, patty and beer sticks and sausages. Then we'll add the meat to the mincer, throw in some free farm pork, mash burden. Um, venison's quite lean, so it's good to throw a bit of pork in there to help with the, the moisture content and also the flavour. And then we'll throw in our secret curry mix, some mixed herbs, um, some spices, paprika, a bit of garlic in there. And then we'll put in a little bit of water, just enough for the right consistency, um, just to help the mix through, really. We don't use any fillers at all. All our ingredients, the garlic, everything is all natural. Then after that, we'll go into the auto filler. Um, Tony will fill that out with slimies and beer sticks. Quite a new machine for us, so we can get through the, the slimies and beer sticks really quick as we're starting to supply supermarkets around the country now. So this machine is so good. And then it also puts it out perfectly measured so they cook all the same. Slime is real good and with a bit of cheese and a cracker on the hill or on a platter at home. But definitely the spicy is my preferred flavour of a whole lot. So we'll do a run of beer sticks off the end of that salami run. A lot of hunters are loving the beer sticks at the moment. Perfect for like an night time after hunt or as they're hunting, it's still a snack, good protein hit. Um, so they're becoming real popular. And then we'll hang those up, take those through into our smokehouse room. We'll give that a nice cook and then at the end we run a minute wood chip smoke over them for a good 40, 45 minutes. It's a real nice flavour from the west coast. Part of opening up the oven and seeing all the smoke come out and you can see the final product and you know it makes you proud of what you've done and then it puts a nice smell through the whole factory for when the customers come in as well it's a good thing and then be leftover meat for some sausages and patties our venison sausages again we'll add in a little bit of pork to that as well um, and we'll do our famous bushman flavor for both of those um, that's got mixed herbs mixed seasoning in there some new york pepper garlic and a touch of rosemary and that's just a good all-rounder uh, real good on the barbecue Real good for the whole family and the hunters love them. Similar recipe for the patties as well, just because it's so popular. You can either do by machine or by hand. Um, I prefer doing it by hand because it's just a bit more chunkier and sort of more that real sort of texture to it. it takes about a week to 10 days. Uh, the longest thing is the, the curing of the salami and the beer sticks. And as they like to hang them over those four or five days, they can dry out, get real nice. And once everything's uh, ready to go, we'll pack it up. Um, we'll pack the beer sticks, roughly 16 in the pack and we'll put that in and then we'll freeze it down um, ready for pickup. Yeah, the beer sticks, just take them out of the freezer again and they'll be fine in the fridge for a couple of weeks. Take one hunt and actually really good heated up as well. A lot of guys don't know that, so you can heat them up on the fire or something, a bit of bread, real good. And the salamis we don't bag the pack, we just tell everyone to take it home, put it straight in the freezer and then just bring out one at a time as you need it. Once you take them out of the freeze, they're a good couple of weeks in the fridge. They continue to cure over that time. You know, they firm up in texture, but the flavour gets way better as well. Yeah, Willie, how are you, mate? Good, thanks, Kurt. Oh, you boys have been busy. You've yeah, been. There's a bit there for us. So uh, we've got a Bushman patties, a Bushman sausages, and her spicy salami and beer sticks for her. All packed up, ready to go. Fantastic. Yeah, it's looking real good. Getting on for lunchtime, I was thinking, I've actually brought a barbecue in the back of the truck. I could fire it up and we could have a taste test. Yeah, absolutely. Shay might even pop in herself. Oh, cool, yeah, awesome. Yeah, why not? Thanks very much. Let's Appreciate it. it. Cool. Char grill is just uh, like this. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, the patties look pretty amazing. Get into one of those. Mm. Yeah. Perfect, eh? Awesome. Grab a sausage, Tony. Nice Grab one. some sauce on that. Why not, sir? Thank you very much. Mm. You're going to make sure you get some before it gets cold, mate. Make a sandwich coming up. This is the, the Bushman patty. Bread. Got some sauce there. Mine's a lot more basic. Good. Patty. Bread. Go. <laughs> nice. Downside of it is you wear half of it. Sharing hard-earned meat and the interesting story behind it with friends and family is certainly one of the beautiful things about hunting. Do you notice when Shay turned up, just as the barbecue was finished? Yeah, timing. Was Impeccable timing. timing. Yep, that's right. <laughs> it was delicious, thanks guys. Awesome, awesome mate. Cheers. Cooler. We've still got 30 kilos to get through now, so yeah, we'll leave you a bit light. No worries, we'll take care of that, don't worry. A few treats for the butchers. <laughs> well done, Shay, that's good, eh? Uh, thank you. You did really well, so got some nice stuff there for you. So cool. Enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you. No Thanks very much. Appreciate that. I'm sure we'll be seeing you again. Yeah, sounds good. After the next time. Look forward to it. Nice one.